Hello, Chipola Nation. We're here with Darwin Gilmore. Darwin, how you doing? Doing well, how are you? All right, Darwin is the Dean of Workforce Development and Economic Development. Is that what we call That's you? It. Okay. That's it, right. All right, here at Chipola College. And Darwin, we're here today to talk about uh, a program in your area called Civil Engineering Technology. So in layman's terms, tell us what Civil Engineering Technology is all about. Great, so most people understand, you know, civil engineering is all about um, how do you get your home built? How do you get water and sewer uh -huh. uh, to your home? How do you get the electrical uh, services to your home? So civil engineering technology is a complement to the civil engineering platform. And these are people who know how to run the AutoCAD. They know how to run the computer mm -hmm. to do computer-aided drawings. They know how to run surveying equipment because what used to be more of a manual survey instrument now has become computerized okay. and in fact robotic. Uh -huh. So there are robotic uh, surveying instruments. So there needs to be technology people and technology support to complement civil engineering. Uh, so to get roads and buildings and bridges built, uh, you not only need the theory part and the design and the calculations right, you need to have people who can operate the computer, uh -huh. even mapping now. Okay. GIS, mapping, geographic information systems. Uh, mapping used to be done in a very manual way, mm -hmm. and just like blueprints used to be drawn by hand, uh -huh. but now all of that is dependent on a technology platform like AutoCAD for the software for drawing and ArcGIS for the software for mapping. Uh -huh. Huh. So you, you gotta go out and gather data and port that data into a computer. A technician uh -huh. is what's needed to help make those functions okay. uh, operate. Okay, so what kind of students would be eligible or, or, uh, or, or possibly ready to enter a program like civil engineering technology? You know, what I would say is a lot of times people think, well, I'm gonna go on a four year track. Uh -huh. I wanna be an engineer. Um, and there are a lot of folks who it fits very well but there's quite a number who may not want to delve off into the advanced calculus uh -huh. platforms or the advanced physics platforms. They, they understand math and they can use applied math, uh -huh. but they're more hands-on, they're okay. high-skill people. And so people who are pretty good in math and like the science and engineering mm -hmm. track, but they don't, want, they don't see themselves sitting in an office, so to speak, uh, those people oftentimes are really good candidates for this kind of position. They like to be outdoors. They want to do, part of the time they may be in the office and working on the computer, but uh -huh. the other part of the time they're going to be out inspecting or surveying or gathering data, and that it, it will be a, a person who's comfortable in both those atmospheres. Right, okay. Um, and how long does it take to complete this program? The program is a two-year AS degree program. Of course, you're getting benefits before that because mm -hmm. you're completing several AutoCAD uh, training segments, like Intro to AutoCAD, AutoCAD 2, Civil 3D, mm -hmm. AutoCAD, which is what every, every civil engineering firm uses around here. Uh -huh. You're gonna have some of those credentials so you can go to work oh. prior to your two-year completion. Wow. People are calling all the time. Hey, uh -huh. have you got a CAD technician? Yeah, yeah. I could put them to work. However, uh, it is a two-year AS degree track. So when you're finished, it's a credit hour program. Okay. It's taught by master's credentialed instructors. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is a transfer program. So if you do decide to move forward into your four-year track, uh -huh. uh, those universities who accept these particular codes for classes would accept us because we're taught by master's oh, credentialed wow. okay. instructors. Well, well, that's cool. So a two-year program and um, Darwin, I know, you know, we're, we're from Mariana, and it seems like a lot of people from around here, like they like it here, they want to stay around here. So is it possible to get, to get this degree and, and stay kind of in the area, or do you have to move to, to Birmingham, or do you have to move to California? Great question. Uh, you know, definitely, you can stay around here. Uh, you know, FDOT, the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 office uh -huh. is in Chipley in our service area. From that uh, epicenter are so many contractors mm -hmm. and so many um, technical folks who are needing to be, not. you could either be a direct employee of FDOT, in fact, their boss, Jason Peters, uh, has said that 
he's written a nice note for us that says uh -huh. we got plenty of professional engineers, but we need some non-professional engineers. We need the two-year people right. who can help support all uh -huh. these grand plans we have. Right. And so, yeah, from that area, you have a lot of jobs. All the contractors like Atkins, uh, which is a global player, uh -huh. uh, people like All Day Howell Engineering and Melvin Engineering, both partners of ours. Mm -hmm. There are others, Capital Engineering. Um, there's Soteros. There's a lot of local folks. I'm forgetting a lot of them. Uh -huh. But those people who are doing engineering work as engineering firms for DOT, are plentiful and they are all very concerned that there's been a mass exodus and people retiring and uh -huh. those who are going to retire. Right. So it's created an opportunity for young folks to, or even someone looking for a career change, to come back and get get educated on this technical platform mm -hmm. so they can go in and undergird these projects. These projects are going to stall. It, it doesn't matter if you have a trillion dollar uh, program of work. The projects stall if you don't have the manpower to perform them. Right. And, and they definitely are needing. Also, surveying. Uh -huh. uh, all the surveying firms are looking for people. This has a, a geomatics type because, like I say, the surveying has a lot to do with technology these days. They're all looking for people. Um, inspectors, people who inspect to make the road, uh, make sure the road is being put down properly, mm -hmm. make sure the building is being put down properly. All those inspectors have a, this is a platform that complements what they need to do. Uh -huh. uh, so contractors, inspectors, engineering firms, surveying firms, DOT, all people related to that can have a job in this field. Right. Man, that's fantastic. Now, um, Darwin, about how much would it cost uh, a student to enroll in this program and, and what would it cost over, over a couple of years? Yeah, so we're so affordable, as you know, you know, just a little over $100 a credit hour. Okay. This is a credit hour program, so uh, it is it is a two-year program, so it's the full fee at 100 uh, credit hours. Six, 60, 60 hours, 60 basically? Hours. Okay, so you, you're you, six grand. Six grand, okay, which is um, a bargain, you know, anywhere. Now, um, and, and you're never going to have to come up with more than, what, $1,500 at a time, something like that. That's correct. Um so, but, but let's say I'm a little short on $1,500 right now, which yes. I, which I am actually. Um, is there any, are there any opportunities for getting help with that? Yes. Uh, just talking with my boss, uh, you know, we've been active in the community, uh, since we started this program and we've been reaching out, there's been several organizations who've made a determination, Hey, we want to direct some of our scholarship monies to workforce uh -huh. to engineering particularly. So the Cattlemen's uh, Association mm -hmm. have designated a scholarship. Uh, the Rotary just this past year has said we want to, to uh, allocate particular funds to uh -huh. this scholarship. Um, we have an association scholarship from the local uh, regional surveying association. Huh. They've sponsored a scholarship. So yes, there are avenues for us okay. to find scholarship monies right. on top of uh, if, if you're Pell eligible, of course, that's an opportunity. Right. Uh, but yeah, there are scholarships. Okay. So regular, regular financial aid too, federal financial aid. So fill out the FAFSA. That's right. And see if you see if you qualify for that. So Darwin, how does what is the first step if, if somebody's watching this and and they're interested in looking into civil engineering technology? What's the next step they take? Yeah, they need to contact me. Um, we can give them my information. Uh, my phone number in the office line is 718-2270, or they can email me at gilmoreD at chipola.edu. Okay. I'm, I'm their point person right now. All we right. can transfer them over to the instructors as well, and, and we'll be glad to give them a tour. I just gave a tour this morning okay. for a prospective student. We want them to see the facilities. Uh, I hired one adjunct instructor, and when he came in and saw the facilities, he said, this is not only better than where I'm teaching at Florida State right now, sorry, uh -huh. but it's also better than where he went to school at UF in the day. Wow. So our facilities and our technology uh -huh. um, is second to none. So people are impressed when they see it, yeah. and, and they need to see it, Brian, to understand what is AutoCAD, what right. is GIS. Why, and we're also going to be teaching them construction methods, um, you know, sustainable construction mm -hmm. methods like green and leads. Right. They're going to be touching on, it's a multi-craft. You're going to, when you finish this, you're going to know a lot about different segments of this whole architectural and construction cluster. Okay. And you're going to be prepared to go into this yeah. field. So right. 
cool. Um, and if you're watching this at 2 a.m. And, and you've got your phone or your computer or your iP iPad there, if you'll go to chipola.edu and click on workforce, you can go to a page that is dedicated to civil engineering technology and you, you can look at some of these programs and there's probably a video That's associated right. with this, which I know that young people learn everything now from, from looking at, uh, at YouTube videos. But um, so anyway, uh, a great program, a great opportunity for people to, uh, to get a high skill, high wage job in two years or, or possibly even less. That's right. Yeah. And look at our situation. After the storm, it's even more severe. Uh -huh. People are developing everywhere we go. We're talking to people who are uh, trying to redevelop uh, acreage. Um, you know, this is an opportunity that's unlike many, many others. There's going to be a work package of civil engineering work uh, in abundance for the next couple of decades uh -huh. in this foreseeable future. Okay. So all in our region. So. Yeah. That's great. Uh, take a look. Take okay, a look. Great. At it. All right. Well, we're at 10 minutes, and, and they say that's that's the attention span of the average American right now. So we're going to stop right there. Darwin, uh, thanks for talking to us today. And if you have any questions about civil engineering technology, give Darwin Gilmore a call at 718 2270. Is it. that right? Or check us out on chipola.edu. Thanks, Darwin. Thank you, sir.